Welcome back. Quick video before I depart for Spain. A couple of things that I talked about way back when I started doing the modifications was putting on a new exhaust system or replacing that back box. So this week, at the start of the week, Sunday actually, I got an email from UPS telling me large parcel arrived. I was like, well, what's this? Found out that the guy had finished my exhaust and where they were on their way. So this week I've managed to get the new exhaust system on. So the back box has come off and the new two exhaust pipes have gone on. So I've got twin exhaust tails on now and removed that back box. So this is what it sounded like before. This is what it sounds like now. Big difference, box is gone. Really happy with the way it looks at the back. The brackets are sort of angled down a little bit. I think that's fine, there's enough ground clearance under there. There's nothing there that's gonna impact it. So one other thing I've mentioned a couple of weeks ago in my New Year's video was that I was going to do a vinyl wrap on the rear. Finally, managed to get that sorted in. I've been juggling schedules around and everything like that. So first thing, managed to hop over to Farnborough company called um, FPS they did the work for me they did the work on the Defender and they managed to install my window vinyl wraps so let's have a look and see what you think so with chainsaws going in the back this is what it now looks like this is a frosted Union Jack I think you can see that and it breaks up the drug dealer all black. I quite like it. As you can see, it's just made of um, frosted vinyl. Um, it is still setting, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. There's one on this side. And there's one on this side. Now the good thing about these, if I don't like them, I can take them off. I don't actually think they break up the black of the vehicle. So that is all done. Now there are a couple of modifications that I'm going to be doing to the vehicle and parts have been ordered and they're on their way. So when I get back from my little trip, I will take it up to CBS, the company that put the um, Navi Plus in and they're gonna do some work for me. So I've got um, two ARB Solace spotlights are going to go on the front. I managed to find an original Land Rover spotlight kit which fits the 10 model. Although it was built for the 6 to 9 model, it still fits. So they're going to put that in. The reason why I've chose those, they have a dimmer switch on it. So a lot of these spotlights just put them all on and it's too bright. So the Solace has a dimmable switch. Now I had thought about going with laser. Laser have got two big nine inch Sentinel spotlights. To me, the value of this car, probably the spotlights would be worth more than the car. I'm joking of course, but I cannot justify spending 1200 pounds for a pair of spotlights. So I'm gonna go with the ARB Solace. I'm quite happy with them. Um, they've got different um, covers on them as well. So you can black them out. You can have clear ones or you can have amber and that'll be pretty good to do that. Um, the uh, Autovox rear view mirror that is going to go in as well so i've ordered the v5 pro i'll put a link in the description of what it looks like the good thing is they have a connector in there so this is basically a bmw rear view mirror connector on the windscreen and they do a connector as well so you basically take out the whole of the rear view mirror and replace it with this so it's a digital rear view mirror with a digital dash cam and then they're going to figure out how to put one of the um the rear view camera 
up underneath the spoiler as well to be able to give that rear view and that will be good and what I'm going to do once that's done is probably when I come back build up the frame slightly so I don't need to worry about any rear view from the rear view mirror I now have the flexibility to go up so I might build some very small shelves or some boxes on top of the existing frame um, and I've started to draw out some plans to do that when I get back but anyway really short video I need to pack this thing up I need to go fill up my rotor packs with diesel just in case fill up the tank head to Portsmouth get on a boat I'll see you in Spain